If someone's a homebody and the other person wants to be on like a gap year for seven years, these are very different types of lifestyles. Hello and welcome back to my series about questions to ask your significant other before getting engaged or at any point in your relationship just to really be able to discern with intention if this is the person for you. We are on episode three, so please check out the other two if you haven't. And as a caveat, as always, remember this is not an inquisition or an interrogation. Please bring up these questions of intention and respect and patience and make sure you have the time, place and space to ask them. Okay, so today we're gonna to be talking about mismanaged expectations. This is a huge topic and very important because this is really good to talk about up front. You don't wanna end up in a marriage where you feel like you signed up for something completely different. So, question one. Do you see yourself staying in one place for a long period of time and laying down deep roots? Or do you prefer to move around a lot and enjoy more of a nomadic lifestyle? Hugely important question, because if someone's a homebody and the other person wants to be on like a gap year for seven years, these are very different types of lifestyles. So definitely ask about that and um, you know, it goes into the deeper conversation of which family you're gonna live near, if you are gonna live near family, and all these kind of things. What are some of your bad habits? And how are you working to eliminate them? So for me, I have a bit of a problem with tardiness. I tend to be five to 10 minutes late to almost anything. This is because I, I think I'm being really efficient and trying to squeeze in lots of stuff before I like have to shoot out the house but it actually comes across really disrespectful to the person who's waiting for me. So it is something that I am personally working on. It's good to ask the person what their bad habits are and, and how they are working on it. And then on the positive spin, what are some good habits that you're trying to instill? So for me, you know, I'm, I'm trying to really give that first moment, the first fruits of my day to the Lord and pray. And sometimes it's not my first instinct. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I really wanna brush my teeth or I really wanna do this. But it's like, no, I'm up and I'm breathing and I'm awake and I wanna pray. Um, so, you know, it's just nice to learn like what is it that the other person is trying to achieve in their life and, and make more of a habit and a habitual thing in the everyday. What will your expectations be of me in marriage? Again, it's a huge question and everyone's gonna answer it and ask it differently. Um, so I would ask it in the sense of, you know, how are you seeing me as your wife? And this goes into another question, like what are your expectations of your wife? Would you be okay with me being a stay-at-home mother? Or would you be okay with me working or, you know, hybrid, doing both? Again, it's a really good question to ask and to, and to figure out what um, your expectations, you know, your experience of, in your family or your cultural expectations are. Again, talk about it, put it all on the table, please. What marriages have you witnessed that have shaped your view of marriage? And this can be positively and negatively. So, it, you know, your family of origin, um, some people who are really formative in your life, people in your church. Again, it's just really good to, to talk about, you know, I've seen a couple and I, I love that they do this together, or I've seen a couple where, you know, they bicker in public and I really don't like that. So, you know, talk about it and see what, what you guys have both picked up from your own different journeys in life. What are your spiritual values? What will our faith life look like? How would you ideally want our children raised? So again, this is all very, you know, are you a particular denomination? Um, do you have a particular daily prayer that you really want to instill in your family life and in your children's life? Um, so for me as a Catholic, like, a daily rosary is really important and that's something that I would love to do within family life. So it's just little things like this, like how would you like to raise your family? And then what constitutes a home for you? Like is that buying a house or is renting fine? Like do you see yourself renting long term? Um, do you see yourself having pets? Obviously some of you may know I live with a dog and a cat and I love it. Like they really just bring this kind of energy and I do feel like pets do help you grow in the virtue of patience. <laughs> what is your picture of a home? Um, is it going to be multi-generational? Are you going to have your your parents stay with you or your siblings? Like, like how do you see it? Everyone is different. So it's really interesting to ask that question. How do you interact with your living space? So this kind of means, you know, are you a homebody? Do you really like having time at home or do you just use it to sleep? Do you like having a space to really like eat um, and rest and, and all these kind of things? Or are you in and out? And the next question is a bit similar. Like, are you a clean person who dislikes clutter and cleans often? 
or are you the opposite? <laughs> I really need tidiness for my own kind of mental health. So I'm gonna say, yes, I really, you know, I don't like clutter and I do try to be as clean as possible. So again, these are things to ask because you don't want to get into the point where you're married, you've just moved in together and suddenly it's like, ah, your socks are everywhere and it actually makes me feel really stressed. So definitely talk about that. What are your expectations of motherhood and fatherhood? So again, you know, questions about, um, you know, will the mother stay at home with the children? Will she homeschool? Will she work part-time, full-time? Will the father work full-time? Will the father try to find a job that ensures he's home for dinner every night? You know, things like this, which is really nice to talk about in advance because again, you know, life happens and, and you want to just have an idea of, of what each other expect of the other if you're blessed with children. What kind of parent do you hope to be? This is a lovely question to ask. You know, we all have, um, learnings and wounds from our own parents you know what would you like to bring and what would you like to avoid these are just nice ways to again grow in um, emotional intimacy with your partner and find out have you thought about disciplining any future children you know how did your parents discipline you was it effective would you redo it so you know it's a good way to talk about you know do you believe in timeouts do you believe in really reasoning with children do you believe in um, you know, very much saying what you mean and meaning what you say. It's just, it's just a good way to discuss um, what your views are on that. And then what are your specific expectations when it comes to housework? You know, cooking, cleaning, other chores, like how are you gonna divide that? Again, this might be a bit of a boring one, but when you're just firstly married, you don't wanna suddenly be arguing about who's doing the dishes. It might be the rule that one cooks and one cleans up, um, but have a think about it. And it might also be that one person really dislikes taking out the rubbish as I do, um, or you know, one person enjoys vacuuming and the other doesn't. It's really great to have these conversations because you might find that you're super complimentary to each other and then that'd be lovely. I'm not saying that it's always gonna happen because some chores are just really crappy and I don't think anyone necessarily wants to clean the toilet, but again, maybe it's gonna be one month you, one month you, I don't know. The final question, what are your views on holidays? Will we take them and how often? So some people might be more frugal and think the holidays are really gratuitous and then someone else might think the holidays are super important. It's important to take three holidays a year, whether that's a staycation or going to the Bahamas. I've never been to Bahamas, but you know, you know what I mean. That was just a really quick run through of some questions around mismanaged expectations that I hope will help you in discerning if this is the right person for you or even in just getting to know yourself a bit better. Please stay signed up to SALT to get a notification of the next episode. I'm gonna be talking about extended family and how that will be integrated into your marital life. So I hope you can join me and we can discuss these questions. Okay, God bless, bye.